The next question that patients often will have is, well, what can I do once I've gotten a defibrillator? Remember, the idea here of a defibrillator is not to limit your life. In fact, quite the opposite. It's to free you up to feel more comfortable to do the things that you want to do. So just to give you a sense, I have a patient in my clinic who's a 30-something-year-old male who's a very high-level uh, triathlete and Ironman competitor who has actually competed in the Hawaiian Ironman with a defibrillator device in place. That's not to say that you should expect to be able to do that once you've had your defibrillator implanted. But the point is that you can pursue very high-level activities if you're somebody who's been doing that already. Um, so it shouldn't, in the long run, limit your activity. However, in the short run, soon after the, the device has been implanted, it takes time for the body to heal and sort of solidify the device in place, in a sense, so that there's a lot of, uh, of healing that takes place that makes the stability of, of the device increase in the course of the first three to four weeks following an implant. So basically, for the month following the procedure, we ask that patients just do their activities of daily living. You're certainly free to do aerobic exercise, walking or even light jogging. However, you should really wait about a week to two weeks before pursuing activities like that. Generally speaking, what we request of the patients is that they avoid lifting, pulling, pushing, anything heavier than 10 pounds for a period of up to a month with the most commonly the left arm, assuming that the device has been placed in the left side. We also ask that when you're raising the arm above the level of the shoulder, to do so gently. So for example, when you're putting on a shirt, just do so slowly and uh, being aware that that device shouldn't be agitated too much. That should be sufficient to allow the device to heal completely in place over the course of the next month. So another thing that uh, patients often want to know uh, is whether or not their device is at risk with interference from other electrical systems. So for example, uh, the most common, far and away the most common thing everyone will ask me is, Doc, what about microwaves? And the one thing I say about that to everybody is I say, just don't get in the microwave. Now, of course, this leads to a, a great deal of laughing at the time, but, but the truth of the matter is that these systems have become very sophisticated over time, so they're very well shielded from electrical interference. That doesn't mean that you don't have to be cognizant of certain electrical fields. Very high intensity electrical fields can have an effect on the device. So for example, um, patients who use electromagneto ignitions to start cars, for example, or uh, high energy switches that might start something like a chainsaw or a arc welding system can sometimes have high uh, electrical energy associated with them. In those specific settings, we oftentimes don't in fact know whether or not the energy is enough to potentially cause interference. We provide you with phone numbers to call the company that actually makes your device that can provide technical information and advice as to whether or not this is something that needs to be avoided. Another question patients often ask is how long is my battery going to last? The device battery should last several years depending on a variety of factors. You will be automatically scheduled for device follow-up every three months. You'll be given a simple home monitoring device that plugs into a standard phone line, which allows us to test, otherwise known as interrogate, your device from your home. For standard follow-up, we will alternate the interrogation between the home and the clinic. When the battery shows signs of depletion, we then schedule to have the device switched out. If you have any more questions that haven't been answered during the course of this video, please call our office and we'll be happy to answer them. Once again, thank you very much for watching.